is Fort Wayne's NBC News at 11. You can wake up and get a phone call and it's gone. I just want my mama back. Now at 11, new reaction to the death of a Fort Wayne grandmother. Last month, someone shot and killed 61-year-old then uh, a 61 year old woman on Ventura Lane tonight. Her son talks with us about the family's loss. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Powell and I'm Linda Jackson. Police say they still don't have a suspect in this case and Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Carly Van Cleve spent time with the family. Carly. Tom, Linda, a tragic story here tonight. 61 year old Arlene Shelton died late last month. She was just sitting in her car. The people who loved her say she didn't deserve this. It was a tragedy. Honoring 61-year-old Arlene Shelton. I'm heartbroken. Martin Weaver is Shelton's son. On September 28th, he received a heartbreaking call. Getting a call telling your mom been shot. Like, who, who's prepared for that? Like, nobody's prepared for that. Police say Shelton was sitting in her car on Ventura Lane that night when gunfire rang out. She shouldn't have to go the way she went. Nobody should have to go that way. Police say they found her lying in a driveway with gunshot wounds. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital with life threatening injuries. She died later in the hospital. She's a very wonderful woman. Like, she'll do anything for you. She'll try to help you the best way she can. Weaver says he's not sure why someone would target a 61 year old woman. She was at the wrong spot at the wrong time. He says Shelton was a loving mother and grandmother, and he and his siblings want to make sure to honor her life. I'm just trying to take one step at a time because I lost something very close to me, and I probably don't show it, but. And most importantly, Weaver says he and his family want the violence in our city to end. My family is hurt. I can't explain. I can't put it in words right now. I'm lost. I just want my mama back. Again, police say they do not have any arrests or in this case at this time. And if you have any information that can help, call 911 or call the Fort Wayne Police Department. All right, Carly, thank you. A local priest faced